guys, my name is Meg and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you what I keep in my diaper bag as a mom of two, under two. I have both my babies still in diapers, so I have a really big diaper bag and there's a lot of things I need to bring and I try to be as minimalist as possible with what I carry along with us when we go out and about, but hopefully this video is entertaining for you guys and let's get right into this. I have a little helper today, this is Dimitri, and he's just taking his nap in the wrap today, so you'll be along for the video. This is my diaper bag, it's one of these really awesome backpack style diaper bags, and this diaper bag is amazing. It's so big, you can carry so much stuff, and it's amazing that I can put it on my back so that I can carry my toddler on my hip, I have a diaper bag on my back, and carry the car seat with the newborn in it in the other hand, so I can carry all three things at once with the backpack style diaper bag a lot easier. So on these side pouches here, I normally have my daughter's water bottle and my water bottle on the sides, and then I keep my phone in this zipper pouch here. That's where I put my phone and my keys, things I need to get to a lot when we're out. In this pouch here, I have my wallet. I have my wallet in here. This pouch has some winter gloves for both me and my daughter. There's some little baby gloves, and my bear gloves, because it always happens that we go out and it gets cold and I don't have the gloves, so I now I just keep now I just keep a pair for us in the bag. And I know it's starting to get warmer because it's spring now, but that's just kind of their home now, and so they're probably just gonna stay there all year. In this pouch up here is where I keep I have a few binkies for the baby. He normally doesn't take binkies unless we're out and he's in his car seat and upset and I just can't help him. I'll give him a binky then, but generally at home he doesn't have binkies. I have a few extra hair ties and a little pouch with some essential oils. I have peppermint for headaches. And then I also have digestin for if someone gets car sick in the car. And then this last thing is some homeopathic teething medicine for my daughter. So this is a nice little handy pouch and I love the color. This thing is super cute. So those are also just really easy to get to in the top pouch. So now I'm opening up the main pouch and this is just how I would have it packed if we were going somewhere. So I'm just gonna unpack it as I go and show you what, what is in there. So you can see it's pretty full. In the top here I have a muslin swaddle blanket. I carry one of these with me at all times. Normally I have one over the baby in the car seat and then I have an extra one in case he gets the other one dirty or he needs another one if it's colder. And I also use these for nursing covers, so I make sure I always have one because they're just super handy for everything. You can see on the side here I have these little waterproof pouches and these are for these are for dirty cloth diapers and right they're inside out right now, but they're waterproof and they're just really handy to pack the dirty cloth I present so they're not just loose in the diaper bag. On the other side there's a little pouch where I have a little charger for my phone, a little portable charger because my phone's always dying. And then on this side I have a stack of my daughter's cloth diapers and on this side I have a stack of my son's cloth diapers. And normally I have them all packed and ready to go when they're in the diaper bag and then inside here I have the wipes. So I have two cloth wipes for every diaper and they're just tucked in there nice and it's really nice and organized that way. So I normally take about four or five diapers for each kid, and these are my little newborn cloth diapers. And then I have my spray bottle. This is to spray the wipes to get them wet so that they actually do something when you wipe the dirty bottom. And then I have a little receiving blanket in here. This was handmade by my husband's grandmother, actually. I have this one in here for using it as a diaper changing mat. There wasn't one that came with this diaper bag, like my last one. So I just have a little blanket in here for that. If I have to change them in public somewhere and I can't do it in the car, I don't like to lay them on public changing tables without something underneath them because that's just really gross. I have an extra onesie in here for Dimitri and a couple little socks since it's just a onesie that doesn't have feet. There's also another little onesie outfit in here. He tends to spit up a lot more than my daughter did so I make sure I have a lot of outfits for him just in case. I have a little jacket in here for my daughter in case we forget to bring her other one. I have a little outfit for her with some pants and a onesie. Normally she almost never needs to be changed in public anymore, but I can almost guarantee that the one time I don't bring an outfit she's going to have a blowout or something and I'll wish that I had brought it, so I almost always have that in there. I have a little pair of socks for her and I have a little partial pack of wipes. Just regular wipes, just in case I didn't bring enough of my cloth wipes. I don't like running out of those, so I have that in the bottom just, just for emergencies. 
And that's it. You can see that is empty. And so what I carry in here is pretty minimalist. I just have, I pretty much just have clothes and diapers in here. <laughs> When I'm getting ready to go, most of the time I throw a banana in here on top of everything or an orange or some really easy snack food just in case the toddler gets hungry. And so there's a few things I throw in here just right before we're about to leave. But in general, that is everything I carry in this diaper bag. I will link where this diaper bag is sold on Amazon as well as all these cloth diapers I have and as many of these products I can find on Amazon, I will link for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.